Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. You can stop hiding now. I heard you. Hey. You look familiar. Do you so happen to work at a police station? Yep, I knew it. I knew you looked familiar. <laughs> so you do know who I am. Well, that's great. Everybody knows everybody around this small little town, huh? I don't want to hear it. Every single time one of you stupid little pigs try to talk to me, all I hear is blah, 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 blah. Can you at least talk about something that interests me for once in your lives? <laughs> oh, really? Interesting, interesting. So, you must know then, right? Mm-hmm, yeah, I'm talking about that little symbol on that little piece of paper that you're holding there. I know what it is, but do you really know what it is? It's a symbol for a cult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from a police officer. It's not really just a little clan or little membership symbol. No, 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 no. You see, this little symbol right there is more of a remembrance of what happened. You don't know, do you? Well, all right then. Put your weapon down. I'm not going to hurt you. At least not yet. I want to tell you a little story. A little story about that symbol right there. You see, a long, long time ago, I want to say about a decade ago, there was a group of people known as the Proxies. Mm-hmm. The Proxies were a big organization of people who had troubled passes, to say none the least. And they also had significant differences between one's one and another. I might be 
messing up the story a little bit. But the smaller, to put into smaller, like, uh, imagery for you, the group called the proxies was filled with a bunch of fucked up people like myself. <laughs> but these people were more messed up in the head because their leader their leader was well I say was but their leader is uh, not really a good person. Hell, I mean, I don't even think that their leader is a human at all. <laughs> of course I've seen their leader. He's a very tall individual. Likes to keep to himself more than anything. He likes to keep his identity a secret, you know, on hush-hush mode. <laughs> but there is a little difference between him and a regular person now. You see, he is a tall individual about... Roughly seven foot, a little bit above that. And, um, he also doesn't really have a face. Now, I know you look confused, but trust me, it'll make a lot of sense once I tell you his name. But I haven't got to that part yet. So... Back to what I was saying. Tall has no face. Always wearing a suit and tie. Make him look more approachable for people. Stupid people in that matter. And this is the kicker. Listen to this. He can have tentacles come out of his back. I know. Something that sounds like it would come out of a horror fiction book. But I can tell you he's very, very much real. Because like I said, I've seen him with my own two eyes. And he is the source of this symbol right here. So, with you being here, trying to capture me and imprison me again. Well, I mean, not again. Your police station has really been keeping a sharp eye on me, and to the point where I had a little friend that I was living with. They worked at that police station before you. I trusted them because they were helpful to me. But sadly, my trust was overcome. And they set up cameras around their own house to spy on me, and also had some of your people spy on me while I was out and about doing whatever I felt like. Do you want to know what happened to that detective that I was living with? Well, let's just say that they met with a rather deep cut. <laughs> uh, I still remember that day like it was yesterday. 
Uh, it was the day I finally got my mind back straight on my head. Something in that whole ordeal made my brain snap back into reality. And I figured out that I was not being myself for a while. But, back to the story at hand. You want to figure out what this symbol means, right? Hmm, yeah, that, that's what I thought. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I, I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you what this symbol means. This symbol, right? This is the proxy symbol. And if you ever see this symbol without being one of them, <coughs> it always brings death. Whether it's around. <laughs> now to hide this body. 